you're a wonderful, beautiful human being, whether you're gay or not. And they just have to deal with it. And if they don't want to deal with it, they can exit your life and stay out of it. Quote me on that one, please. So welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So before I get started, you know what to do. You know what the deal is though. Subscribe to my channel. Duh. Also, if you want to be notified when I post a new video, um, just click on that little bell that looks like that. So it like notifies you when I post a new video. Um, so today I didn't really have like a specific video idea. I just wanted to sit down and talk about something. I don't know. I was in the mood, you could say. So I decided to talk about this certain topic that by the title you can see what I'm going to talk about. And that's being gay and growing up Latino. So, for those of you that don't know, um, I am Dominican, <laughs> hair flip or whatever. I love and hate being Dominican, but that's just a whole different story for a whole different video. Um, I came out when I was 18 years old, which if you already saw my coming out story, you already know that. And honestly, in the Dominican culture, I guess, it's like very taboo to be gay. Well, in my opinion, honestly. And I'm not here to shit another culture, other nationalities, other anything. I am pretty sure it's not only with Latinos or Hispanics or Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, whatever. Coming out is hard, period. No matter what you are, where you are, what you're dealing with, it's just a hard process, honestly. <laughs> Now, I didn't really have a hard time coming out. I have yet to have any experiences where it's like awkward, actually lies. It's just something that my family doesn't talk about. My mom is very open about it. She doesn't really care. She defends me like she defends me, bro. <laughs> Like, she will fight someone if they say the wrong thing. And I love her for that. Even my new stepdad literally defends me like tooth and nail will fight someone if anyone says or looks at me the wrong way. Which is awesome. I love it. But, like, other family members are just, like... How do I put this nicely? A little ignorant when it comes to the fact that I'm a homosexual, honestly. Now, the fact that I'm so open online probably changes everything because I'm, like, very open online. Sorry. One of my uncles actually watches my videos, so shout out to you, though. Eh, thank you <laughs> for the support, genuinely, honestly. Like, I love it. Thank you. And I'm, like, totally okay with that. Like, I totally love it. Like, watch my videos. They're very inappropriate, but it's just me. I am an inappropriate homosexual man. And I will always be inappropriate and gay. Now, when I visit the Dominican Republic and, like, I hang out around my family, it's just, like, I just don't talk about stuff that has to do with me being gay. Just... Not because I'm not proud of it or, like, I'm ashamed of it. That's, like, way beyond the fact. Because you can clearly tell that I'm gay. Like, I'm not, like, over here prancing around. But, like, my style's different. I sometimes speak different. I act differently. It's just, like, I'm different. Clearly, I'm not straight. You know what I mean? And I am not really bothered by it. Like, it's okay that nobody really addresses it or talks about it. Like, my stepmom always talks to me about it, and she's open with me about it. My dad is cool. It's just, like, a little awkward, so he doesn't really talk to me about it. Like, eventually he will. I feel like he probably thinks that I'm not okay with it. And, honey, I'm okay with expressing my homosexuality. It's totally fine with me. But I more so think that it's because of my two siblings that live in the Dominican Republic. They're not used to this or me, or homosexuality probably, since 
Dominicans and probably most Latinos are very like religious and it's just, you know how those people are. So I kind of try to tone the gay down when I'm like around the kids, but usually you get gay all the time, every day. <laughs> And I'm cool with it, honestly. All my other family members are cool with it. My great aunt is cool with it. My cousin's cool with it. Like everyone is okay with it, honestly. And I think that neighbors that I've grown up around in the Dominican Republic, like when I visit and stuff, are starting to understand that your boy's a gay, that your boy's a big old flaming rainbow filled shitting out glitter type of gay. <laughs> like that's just me though. I do occasionally get the whole, mm, do you have a girlfriend? Ooh, I bet you got the girls going crazy. Like, ooh, I bet you're getting mad pussy though. I'm not. <laughs> And I may be driving the girls crazy, but it's only because I'm trying to take their men. <laughs> Kidding, I'm not a homewrecker. But, it's just, I feel like that's people's way to like, see if I would say anything. I think that's people's way of seeing if I will react a certain way. But I feel like everyone understands that when I come in, looking all fly, with my size 29 skinny jeans, all ripped up with my cute little shoes, my cute little outfit, my hair all did, and a little concealer under them bags. <laughs> I think they get the point. Now, there's other family members that really don't acknowledge the fact that I'm gay or like, yeah, they really don't. And that's my grandfather. My grandfather is like the number one person that has never and probably will never acknowledge the fact that I'm gay. And, I mean, it's probably because he's very old-fashioned, very set in his ways, and it's totally cool. He still loves me the same, still treats me the same, still rashes me about drinking, still rashes me about everything. Blech. Ew, I'm so disgusting. I threw up a little bit, too. And I'm cool with it. I'm literally okay with it. It's, like, not that serious to me. I'm very chill. Like, I have experienced some type of shit in my life enough for me let me cover the sleeve look i washed it today so you know i gotta put my hat on because it looks crazy when i wash my hair it'd be looking crazy it'd be looking nuts it'd be looking crazy what was i saying all right awkward edit here because i don't remember what i was saying i'm cool I'm open, I'm comfortable in my own damn skin enough to be out prancing around, gay as can be, and I literally don't care. It took a very damn long time for me to get here. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of confidence to be openly, flamboyantly gay because I am definitely more on the feminine side, which I am gonna say it's taken me a long time to be comfortable in my own skin. And even as I'm growing, I keep getting more and more comfortable in my own skin. And it's just like the process. It's just like how it works. You can't just automatically be comfortable being gay, out, and feminine. Well, I mean, some people might be, but it just, I'm not. And I, it's just, it's a process. It's a process. I am gonna say I'm like 95% comfortable in my own skin at this point. And it's... That I'm okay with that. I'm gonna reach the point in my life where I'm just like, whoa, rainbows and glitter everywhere. <laughs> like, I'm just ready to meet someone that I can be out and about gay with, kiss them in public, hold their hands, because I've yet to meet and date someone that's like comfortable with themselves and with being gay that they'll hold my hand in public or kiss me in public or like grab my ass in public. I love that shit, like grab my ass in public, spank me, show the damn whole world that this 6'3", wonderful, skinny, twinky gay man is your man. Thank you. So, yeah. Growing up gay and Latino is awkward. It's a little rough. 
and it takes some time for your family members to get used to it and yeah some family members would never get used to it and that's okay you don't need them in your lives honestly you don't as long as your core family members as in siblings mom and dad maybe some close uncles and aunts accept you for who you are you're okay you're dandy i don't really plan my videos i just like pick a topic and i talk about it but this was like out of my ass i literally pulled this like out of my asshole and i'm here talking about it and that was it so thank you very much for watching this video comment down below um any experiences you've had coming out to your family or being gay or being gay in whatever nationality you are or being gay and latino being gay and black being gay and asian just like leave me comments leave me stuff i love comments i love talking to people i love talking to you guys whether i agree with your opinion or not honestly i'm here I'm here. So thanks again, and see you guys next time.